Hey everyone, my name is Paul and in this video I'm installing all new fuel and vacuum hoses in this Chinese scooter and removing the entire emission system. Now, why would I do that? Well, this is a Chinese scooter so the emission system doesn't work anyway and ironically the vacuum leaks that it creates mess up the way that it runs and make the emissions worse. So if you want the cleanest emissions from your Chinese scooter, remove all that junk and just do a good job tuning the carburetor instead. Scooters usually have small batteries, but I managed to fit a YTX7L-BS battery in here. The Y stands for Yuasa. It can have different letters, but 7 is the size. Remove two nuts and two bolts, then pull the seat compartment out of the scooter. You don't need to remove the rear fairing to work on the engine, but this will make everything easier to see in the video. Remove the rear rack, then take out the two bolts on the sides of the scooter. Take out two more bolts on the back of the bumper, and don't forget to unplug the tail light connectors. I put my hand in under the fender. Disconnect the seat latch cable. Now the rear plastic can be taken off the scooter. Taking the body apart on a Chinese scooter is confusing. I usually do it in the wrong order. Try not to break it too much and keep all the screws organized. The plastic floor is the last piece I'm taking out. EGR stands for Exhaust Gas Recirculation. When you're cruising at highway speeds at mid to low throttle, the engine runs leaner and hotter. To prevent oxides of nitrogen emissions from forming, the EGR system adds some exhaust back into the intake to reduce combustion chamber temperature. This is a silly thing to have on a scooter, since at highway speeds you're going to be at full throttle and probably running rich. This big EGR hose is already not connected to anything. This vacuum hose is also for the EGR. Let's remove the EGR valve from the scooter. The exhaust gas comes out of this pipe by the valve cover. Someone was already in here and plugged the EGR pipe with a screw. That's what I was going to do. I can make it look better than that. I cut the pipe off and plugged it with a bolt and a nut instead. Let's install the EGR block off plate back in the scooter. Next, let's get some new fuel and vacuum hoses in the scooter. Cutting the hoses with a knife makes them easier to remove. This one takes fuel from the tank and goes to the fuel filter. Let's dump the extra gas back in the tank. Pay attention to the arrow on the fuel filter. Fuel flows away from the gas tank to the fuel pump. Vacuum is strongest on the intake stroke of the engine. The vacuum pulses and moves a diaphragm inside the fuel pump up and down. There's a vacuum diaphragm in the carburetor too. Connect one vacuum hose from the intake manifold directly to the fuel pump and connect another one to the carburetor. You don't have to remove the carburetor, but it will make everything easier to see. Two more bolts hold the air box. Let's pull the air box off the scooter, then the carburetor can come out. The fuel inlet hose goes directly from the fuel pump to the side of the carburetor. The new hose fit very tight, so I didn't need hose clamps. Now just put the carburetor back in and tighten the intake manifold nuts by hand. PCV stands for Positive Crankcase Ventilation. As the engine runs, some fuel and exhaust gets past the piston rings into where the oil is. These extra vapors can be vented to the atmosphere, but it's better to run them back into the intake so the engine can burn them instead. The PCV hose connects to the top of the valve cover. The other end of the hose connects to the front of the airbox. I have the screws out, but I can't open it. There are seven more screws in the airbox cover. Let's take them out. The air filter is inside and has two more screws. This paper filter is pretty good and doesn't need this extra foam. I'm using compressed air to blow the dirt out of the filter. Let's put the air filter back in. You can install a foam filter directly on the carburetor, but it will make your scooter very loud. The airbox is actually a silencer for the engine. This random hose is the fuel drain from the carburetor. I plugged the bottom of the float bowl and I'm going to reuse the drain fitting for the transmission gear vent. This hose normally goes to the airbox, but it's easier to just connect it here. Back to the airbox. My new hose doesn't fit on the oil catch can. When things don't go my way, I get the power tools out. Think of it as a mechanic's temper tantrum. This box has a foam filter inside. You can just run the PCV hose into the airbox instead. It's the same thing. Connect the airbox to the carburetor and tighten the hose clamp with a Phillips screwdriver. Don't forget the two bolts that hold the airbox. Finally, the PCV hose connects to the top of the valve cover. 
In this video, we removed the EGR system from my scooter, simplified the PCV system, and installed new fuel and vacuum hoses. Before I put everything back together, I want to hook up the battery and make sure the scooter runs. It will take a few seconds for the fuel pump to fill the hoses and the carburetor with gas. That's it! The engine runs! I didn't actually need to take the lower plastic apart like this. I'm reinstalling four screws to hold all the lower panels together. Okay, now just put this stuff back in the scooter. Four bolts hold the floor down. Now I'm ready for the rear plastic fairing. I edited the video to make it look easy. It's not too bad, but you have to make sure everything is lined up before you put the bolts back in. Remember to plug in the connector for the rear lights. Connect the seat release cable and bend the tab to keep the cable end in place. When you turn the key, the seat latch release should move. Installing the rear rack was annoying. Start all the bolts by hand first, then go back and tighten them. You can be lazy and use a drill, but you'll strip the threads if you're not careful. Run the battery cables back into the seat compartment. There should be two red wires and one black wire. Gently tighten the nuts and bolts, and don't forget the battery. That's it! Now you know where all the hoses go. Thanks for watching, and remember to check out my other scooter repair videos.